Yes, my name is Minister Red. I am the pastor here at Christ Our Life Ministries, located in Augusta, Georgia, on 308 Rose Street, directly behind the Walmart Lowe's on Bobby Jones Expressway, Interstate 520, heading west. I want to thank you for joining me for my Sunday morning service, amen, along with my members, Brother Roland, and his beautiful wife, Sister Brittany Peachy, my sister, Selena Williams, and her beautiful husband, Stan, my brother, Minister Harvey Cole, and his beautiful wife, Sister Kim Nicole, my brother, Harry Evans, amen. And we want to continue to remember his wife, Sister Beverly Conyers Evans, who went home to be with the Lord on March the 4th of last year. She was a pillar of this ministry. We love her. We miss her. We will never have a service here and not mention her name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for joining my sister church, Spirit of Liberties Ministries, pastored by the phenomenal minister Kenya King and his beautiful wife, Sister Donna King. They have services every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And you ought to join them and be blessed. Pastor King blessed me this morning. He was in my message a little bit, and I'm going to incorporate a little bit of what he said this morning into my message which is very easy to do because he was talking in my message as he was talking anyway i love pastor king a true man of god living for god in the world where god is not wanted in the name of jesus hallelujah join him every sunday morning at 8 a.m and every tuesday night at 7 p.m to be blessed hallelujah I am on YouTube. I am on YouTube. There are over 365 messages. You know what that means? That means you can listen to one message of mine every day throughout the year. In the name of Jesus. Over 365 messages that you will hear preached that will never ask you for your worldly materials in the name of Jesus. That's important because we're going to use that word today in today's message. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today's message, today's teaching, praise, praise to give thanks to God and show your respect to him. Praise. It is to give thanks to God and to show your respect to him. To give thanks to God. See, 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 because we, we got praise confused because we praise men but, but only because of ma the materials that they have. Because the number one thing that we need as humans is breath. And we got this breath that gives us our existence from the living God. But yet, we give our praise to men and to the things of this world. And that's what we want to talk about today. Let everything that have breath Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. I underlined some words. It says, let breath praise the Lord. See, if you ain't going to praise the Lord, then at least let your breath praise the Lord. If you ain't going to do it, at least let your breath do it. At least let your breath do it. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to come up for your presence and to tell you that we love you. And the reason why we're able to do that is because the blood is still running warm in our veins. And the reason why the blood is still running warm in our veins is because of the breath of life. Oh God, we love you. Oh, may this word not fall on deaf ears today. Oh, may the hearers of it be quickened in their inner man to know that everything that proceeded out of their mouth should be directed towards you in a voice of praise. Oh God, we love you. Thank you for 
allowing us to be here today to hear this awesome anointed word. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. The definition of the word praise is to give thanks to God and to show your respect. To show your respect to God. Who do you show your respect to? God bless you, Brother Nathaniel Stevenson. I love you, my friend. We're talking about let everything that have breath praise the Lord today. We're talking about praise being to give thanks to God and to show your respect to him. What is the definition of the word respect? Deep admiration for someone. That everything that have the inhaling and exhaling of air in their lungs praise the Lord. That everything that have the inhaling and exhaling of air in their lungs give thanks to God and show your respect in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why? Because praise is the believer's business. Praise is, Jesus says, I must be about my father's business. What is the father's business? To give thanks to God and to show respect to him because we possess the breath of life. Let, let, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get ahead of this message. I want to. The business, what Brother Stevenson, the business of fans at a sports event is to cheer their team to victory. The purpose of it is to, is to, is to, is to uh, show some type of admiration to their team, that they're loyal to the team, so they praise their team all the way to victory. The business of fans at sports events is to cheer their team to victory. The business of born-again believers is to cheer the word of God to victory because the word of God, who is Christ, has given us the victory over death. If you can hear me today, then that means that death didn't get you last night. How do I know that death didn't get you last night? Because the inhaling and exhaling of air from your lungs is still there. So, in 1 Corinthians 15, chapter verses 55 and 57, it says, Where, O oh death, is your sting? You didn't get my breath yet. Where, O oh death, is your victory? You didn't get my breath yet. The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God. Come on now. What is praise? To give thanks to God. But praises to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. He gives us the victory over death through our Lord Jesus Christ, not through the law. We get our victory through Jesus Christ. We don't get our victory through tithes and offerings. We don't get our victory through not eating pork, through not wearing clothes pertaining to a man. We don't get our victory through having perfect church attendance. We get our victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, whom we should give all praises to. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Everything that has breath better praise him for it. Everything to have breath, better praise him for it. 
Here we go right here. Noah's Ark. Genesis chapter 7, verse 12 through 15. The rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. In the self same day, Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them into the uh, into the ark. They and every beast after his kind and all the cattle after their kind and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah. I want to know today, are the believers going in unto Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They went in unto Noah into the ark. Because Jesus, Jesus went into Christ in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody going to hear me today. They went in unto Noah into the ark. Why did they go in unto Noah? Because Noah was a preacher of righteousness in the name of Jesus. They went in unto Noah into the ark in the name of Jesus. Two and two of all flesh wherein is the breath of life. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Uh, Brother Stevenson, I want to talk today about a three-letter word. Hallelujah, three-letter word. Let in the name of Jesus. The definition of the word let is to allow something to happen. To allow something to happen or someone to do something by not doing anything to stop them or it. Hallelujah. It's really passivity. See, we're supposed to have passivity when it comes to praising the Lord. We ain't supposed to put up no resistance to the praise. We should praise him. See, passivity can work both ways. But we work it the wrong way. In the name of Jesus. Watch this, Brother Stevenson. If Psalms 156 says, Hallelujah to us, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. This means, Brother Stephen, this means that there's something, there is something that's preventing us from praising God. That means it's something that's preventing us from praising the Lord if the verse says, let everything that has breath. So everything that has breath, everything that's walking on planet Earth, everything that's alive on planet Earth is moving by the breath of life. And if it's moving down by the breath of life, then it got its breath of life from the living God in the name of Jesus. And for that reason, we got to let everything that have breath praise the Lord. We got to give thanks to God and show respect for him because death hasn't taken the breath away yet. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't care what type of car you got. That thing could be a 2023. That thing could be a 2020. It don't matter. That thing better have some gasoline in it. In the name of Jesus. God bless us, Sister King. God bless us, Sister Diane. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what type of car you got. You better hope that thing got some gas in it. And if you ain't got a gasoline car, you better have, and if you got a battery car, you better hope that battery's charged. God bless you, Pastor King. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Let every car that run on gasoline have gasoline. Let every house that needs to be run by electricity have electricity. Hallelujah. The breath of life is the electricity for our carnal body. But our carnal body don't want to praise God with it. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But never hallelujah. That means hallelujah. If the Bible got to tell us to let everything that have breath praise the Lord, that means that there's something preventing us from praising God. That means there's something preventing the breath of life in our nostrils from praising God. And I know what it is. I know what it is. It is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. In the name of Jesus, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, 
and the pride of life stops all praises to God. It stops all praises to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What influences, here we go right here. What influences, what influences these, these three things to prevent us? What influences these three things to prevent us from giving God all the praise? Guess what it is? The material world. The material world prevents us from giving God all the praise. Hallelujah. All three, because all three of them, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life, all three constantly lust for this material world. They constantly lust for this material world. James says in 1 and 15, he says, when lust is conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Hallelujah. Romans 8 and 6 says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. But, but death ain't got your breath yet. So if death don't have your breath, I want to know why. In the name of Jesus, uh, you ain't giving God all the praise and the honor. Do his name for waking you up on that day. I want to show you a verse uh, that maybe you've never heard. Uh, Psalm 71 and 8. It says, my mouth uh, is filled uh, with your praise. Uh, declaring your splendor all day long. You notice that? David says... The psalmist says, my mouth is filled with your praise. My mouth is filled with your declaring your splendor, you know, only on good days. You know, only on the days when, when, I'm, when I'm feeling good in myself. Uh, that's the only time my mouth is going to be filled with praise for you, God, in the name of Jesus. Because I'm too busy using my breath uh, to enjoy the material mess uh, that the world uh, is possessed with in the name of Jesus. All three, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Hallelujah. All three constantly lust for the material world. This material world is actually meant for misery. In the name of Jesus, what's the definition of the word misery? It is great mental or emotional distress, extreme unhappiness in the name of Jesus. Uh, extreme unhappiness. Hallelujah, them tornadoes uh, been tying the Midwest up. Uh, I was looking at the news the other day. The lady was out there. She said, we done lost everything. Hallelujah, everything that I had, uh, everything that I possessed, uh, it ain't here no more. Lady, you was a fool. Uh, lady, the ability to stand in front of that camera and to open up your mouth uh, and say that uh, means though the tornado came through, uh, it did not take uh, the breath of life. Uh, you didn't get, uh, honey, it didn't get your breath. Hallelujah. It didn't get your breath. The cancer didn't get your breath. The high blood pressure didn't get your breath. The AIDS didn't get your breath. The COVID-19 didn't get your breath. That accident up ahead of you didn't get your breath. In the name of Jesus, this material world is actually meant for misery. Just as a prison house is meant for punishment. In the name of Jesus. Somebody go hear me today, Brother Stevenson. Hallelujah. James 5, 1, chapter, verses 1, 2, and 3 says, Go to now, ye rich men. What is rich? Rich means having a great deal of worldly assets. Uh, that means uh, if you got two cars, uh, then you got a bunch of, that means you're rich. Because uh, some people don't got a car. In the name of Jesus, uh, if you got a house, uh, you rich. Because uh, some people don't got a house. Uh, go to now, uh, ye rich men, uh, and howl uh, for your miseries, uh, for your, amen, great mental or emotional distress, uh, your extreme unhappiness. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, shall come upon you. Your riches uh, are corrupted. Uh, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver 
is cankered and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. The weary is going to weary you to death. Look at my boy right here. Say, if your eyes are full of sadful tears, it's because of misery. If your mind is full of worrisome thoughts, it's because of mirror, misery. But hallelujah, if you let your mouth be full of praise, you'll get the victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, I'm pretty sure Paul and Silas, their mind was full of worrisome thoughts. I'm sure they probably had eyes full of tears, but because at midnight they began to sing praises and the earthquake shook them free of the shackles that the world had put them in. In the name of Jesus, I'm pretty sure Mordecai and all the Israelites had tears in their eyes and they had worrisome thoughts in their head when Haman got the king to give a decree to kill all the Jews. Hallelujah. But Mordecai and Esther, hallelujah, began to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And everything came to be all right. In the name of Jesus, I'm pretty sure that there was tears in the eyes of the Israelites. When Goliath stood over there on the mountain, I'm sure their minds was filled with worrisome thoughts because they saw this nine foot tall undefeated giant called Goliath. Hallelujah. But because David was a praiser of God, because David kept his mouth full with the praises of God because David kept declaring the splendor of the Lord all day long. He got the victory over Goliath. Hallelujah. I want to know why you ain't got the victory in your life today. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why you ain't got the victory because you ain't praising God. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because earthly materials have stopped your praise. In the name of Jesus, all this mess, money, masonry, Eastern Star, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Omega Psi Bi, Theta Beta Theta, Make America Great Again, Hallelujah, NAACP, Black Lives Matter, LGBTQ. You know what they're doing this weekend? You know what they're doing today? They having their pride marches. They got their pride going on. They got their mouth filled with a bunch of abomination. In the name of Jesus, stupid family members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, your mouth is filled with counsel from stupid family members. In the name of Jesus, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 7 and 8 says, We brought nothing with us when we came into the world. You know what you brought with you when you came into the world? Breath. That is all you brought with you. And sin's going to take that away from you. Sin's going to, the Bible says, if any man says he has no sin, he deceives himself and the truth ain't in it. Sin is eventually going to get past the red's breath. And when sin get past the red's breath, Pastor Red going to go out of this world with nothing. You got family members today. You got people and families that uh, hate each other because of some material mess that was passed down to them from a family member that death took out of this world. Now they hate each other for some mess that was passed down from somebody that died, that received it from somebody that died, that received it from somebody that died, and they going to die too. Hallelujah. Too busy praising material mess. God ain't nowhere in their mouth. In the name of Jesus, we brought nothing with us into the world. And we can't take anything with us when we leave. So, if we have enough food and clothing, let us be content. If we got enough food and clothing, hallelujah, let us be content. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody going to hear me today. 
Somebody go hear me today. Hallelujah. We end it with nothing but breath. We end it this world with nothing but breath. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. That's all we came into this world with. We came into this world with nothing but breath. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I've heard so many people, Brother Stevenson, watch this. I heard so many believers say, no matter what I'm going through, can't nothing stop my praise. Lying. Telling lies. Hallelujah. My fear with a bunch of complaining, a bunch of negativism. In the name of Jesus, no matter what I'm going through, can't nothing stop my praise. Stop lying. Hallelujah. Let something happen to their material possessions. You let something happen to it. Misery takes over. In the name of Jesus, I promise you, you will not hear no praise in that breath. Yet these believers are always saying, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Lying. Telling a lie. All you're doing is telling a lie. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. If your eyes are full of sadful tears because of misery. If your mind is full of worrisome thoughts because of misery, then let your mouth be full of praises and get the victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, sometimes I be watching them basketball games and them football games and my team be losing in the name of Jesus. But on the television, all of a sudden, the fans get in behind their team. It motivates the team to get more in one accord with one another. It motivates the team to want to play harder together. It makes the team come up out of the defeat that they've been experiencing the first three quarters of the game. And then in the fourth quarter, they come back and they defeat you. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This NBA season. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Miami went up on Boston. Three games to none. But Boston began to walk them down. Walk them down. Game four. We won it. Game five. We won it. Game six. We won it. But guess what? Miami went into the lion's den. They went into the world in the name of Jesus. And they defeated Boston. Hallelujah. They took out the number one seed. And they took out the number two seed. And they was the number eight seed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because they had the breath in them to give them the energy to overcome the number one and the number two seed. Do you got the breath in you to overcome the misery in your life? Do you got it? Hallelujah. Because it was a miserable thing to be up three games to zero. And then you find yourself tied three to three in the name of Jesus. Knowing that the entire basketball world, including stupid Mr. Red, Figured that Boston was going to dust you off because they done took you back to their house like they did the Philadelphia 76ers in the name of Jesus. But it's something you can learn from somebody that's got it all together. No matter the enemy they face, I want to know, do you got your words together with praises to God? Do you got your words together? Hallelujah. The book of Job ain't in the Bible for nothing. The book of Job ain't in the Bible for nothing. We're going to read it. Job chapter 1, verse 7 through 22. The Lord said unto Satan, Whence cometh thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. I wonder why. Because the Lord said, I beheld Satan as lightning being cast to the earth. So Satan's the only place Satan could tread is the earth. Satan is the God of this material world. And we and whenever you praise material things, you're praising Satan. Hallelujah. Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, 
to make sure that all of them people, uh, they got the breath of life uh, in their nostrils, uh, that they have the ability to inhale and exhale hair, air from their lungs, uh, that they don't give you no thanks uh, and show no respect to you. That's what I've been doing. I've been walking up and down in it just to make sure they don't do it. Uh, and the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? There is none like him in the earth. Notice he didn't say on the earth, but in the earth. Because God put us inside of a dusty earth body. In the earth, a perfect and upright man. One that feared God and escheweth evil. Hallelujah. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but does Job fear you for nothing though? Does it fear you for nothing? Hallelujah. Hast thou not made a hedge about him and about his house material and about all that he hath on every side material? Have thou not put a hedge about his breath uh, and then put it about everything uh, that he possesses that hath breath? Have you not done that? Yeah. Yeah, you blessed the works of his hands in the name of Jesus. Pastor King talked about it this morning. All people want to do is praise the works that they do rather than give God praise. In the name of Jesus, that's why it says, I never knew you because I never received hallelujah thanks and you never showed me no respect. All you was considered concerned with was your works. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thou hast blessed the works of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. Hallelujah. But put forth thine hand now. And touch. All that he had. Touch his materials. Touch his materials. Hallelujah. And he'll curse you to your face. He'll stop giving you thanks. And he'll stop showing you the respect. That has caused you. To put a hedge. About him. And about his house. And about all that he has. On every side. Hallelujah. Let me touch it. Let me touch it. Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto Satan. Hallelujah. Behold. All his material. Is in thy power. Only upon his breath. Put forth not thine hand. Hallelujah. You didn't. Hallelujah. You didn't get any breath. See Satan you can have everything. But you can't have brother Stevenson's breath. Satan, you can have everything, but you can't have Sister Diane's breath. Satan, you can have everything, but you can't have Pastor King and Sister King's breath. In the name of Jesus, and I guarantee you, they won't curse me like you're saying that they will. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Come on now, hallelujah, hallelujah. Only upon himself, put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord and there was a day when Job's sons and daughters were eating and drinking in their eldest brother's house and there came uh 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 no 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 we're going too fast hallelujah in the name of Jesus yeah no that's it hallelujah verse 13 and there and there went and there was a day see the, the day's coming it, the day's coming. Hallelujah, the day's coming. But don't worry about the day coming. If you just remember Psalm 71 and 8, my mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Don't make a difference what day comes as long as your mouth is filled with his praise when that day comes. Hallelujah. There was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger to Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the asses beating beside them material things. And the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. The Sabians, servants of Satan. Yeah, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I alone am escaped alone to tell thee. Hallelujah. Didn't give Job time to respond. Job didn't get the time to respond because while he was yet speaking, uh, there came also another and said, 
the fire of God is fallen from heaven and that burned up the sheep uh, and the servants that consumed them then took away all the material stuff in the name of Jesus and not only am escaped alone to tell thee Diane see everything materials getting taken away but Job still got his breath Diane while he was yet speaking uh, there came also another and said the Chaldeans uh, made out three bands uh, and fell upon the camels uh, and have carried them away yeah and slain the servants with the edge of the sword and I only uh, am alone to tell thee I alone escaped to tell thee while he was yet speaking while he was yet the fourth one Diane just the fourth person Job ain't even got the time to open his mouth before somebody else then showed up telling him the destruction of his material goods that he was not born with hallelujah thy sons and thy daughters hallelujah sister Diane here's the final blow here's the final blow this is the blow that would put Pastor Red in check. This is the blow that would check Mr. Red whether or not uh, his mouth is filled with God's praises, whether or not uh, all day de declaring God's splendor all the day long. This is the one that's going to define Pastor Red. Uh, hallelujah. Thy sons and thy daughters, Reggie and Nezone, were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house in somebody else's house and behold there came a great wind a tornado a hurricane a typhoon came from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house and it fell upon the young men and they are dead oh come on now oh we done lost all our children hallelujah we didn't lost all our children. Oh, hallelujah. But Pastor Red been running around saying, my mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. I know the book of Job. So if this stuff ever happens, I'm going to be ready when that day comes not to make sure that I don't praise God no matter what happens to Reggie and Ezra now. I got to make sure I'll be ready. I got to make sure I'm ready. Hallelujah. Sister Diane, after the fourth one came, after Job heard that all his material stuff was gone, all of his children was gone, then Job arose and rent his mantle, having food and raiment. See, Job got up and rent the two things, uh, that godliness with contentment is great gain, having food and clothing be content. Job got up and rent the clothing that he was supposed to be content with. He said, I don't, if I can't have my material stuff, if I can't have my sons and daughter, I don't want no clothes either. And he saved his beard and fell upon the ground and worshiped. Somebody gonna hear me. Somebody gonna hear me. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, Brother Stevenson. Hallelujah, you're going to come to steal, kill, and destroy. But that shouldn't have nothing to do with the fact that our mouth ought to be filled with his praise. Hallelujah, because the enemy coming, Brother Stevenson. That thing coming. He's coming once he gets permission from God because we are God's property. In the name of Jesus, Kirk Franklin used to say that he was God's property. But if you look at the mess he's doing today, he ain't, he ain't God's property no more. He ain't God property no more. No, he ain't. Mm -mm. No, no, no. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Job fell up on the ground and worshiped and said, naked. See, that's what we forget. This is what we forget. We forget that we came naked out of our mother's womb. And then, and that we're going to return naked. Hallelujah. The Lord gave. See, the Lord gave. Job all them material things because he was perfect. One that feared God and eschewed evil. God gave it to him. And the Lord have taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But the Lord didn't take away Job's breath. See, the Lord didn't let Satan take away. He let Satan take away everything 
But Job see, see, Job said the Lord gave. Job knew the Lord gave him his breath, and the Lord take it away. But the, but but the Lord didn't take away the most precious thing that Job had. He didn't take away his breath. See, see, death. He didn't get my breath. See, that's what you got to say. No matter what's happening around you, no matter what's happening to your finances, no matter what's happening to your children, no matter what's happening to your job, no matter what's happening in your marriage, Satan ain't got your breath. So because Satan can get your breath, he's hoping that you're going to collect a lot of material mess in this world so that he can cause misery in your life. The Lord gave and the Lord have taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To give thanks to God and show your respect to him. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Part two of this will be Thursday night. We're going to do part two. I ain't, mm -mm, no, we might, we might lay into this for a while because I'm, I'm determined the Spirit of God is on me right now. He's determined to make y'all decide if y'all going to love him more than you love this material world. He's going to see if you love him more than you love your mothers and fathers, sisters, brothers, uncles and aunts, husbands, sons and daughters, your cars, your house, your bank account, your health. In the name of Jesus, health is for the body. The breath of life is for the soul. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I gave him your word. I gave him your word. If the enemy comes to cause misery in their life today, the only way he can come is through the materials that they possess. Because he cannot take nobody's breath from them. Sin can. Sin can because sin is in our body. And Romans 7 and 24 says, Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Faith and praise will. In the name of Jesus. Because the Lord doesn't take away any breath. Sin does. Oh, Lord, you don't take away breath. Sin takes away breath. Never go to a funeral and blame God for that person dying. Job didn't do that. Job didn't, and we know who took Job's children. We know who took all of Job's material possessions. God made the hero of today's message. May they never forget the fact that you never take away the breath from anybody. Sin does. When people disobey your word, the heads that you put about them can only be removed by sin. Achan removed his heads. Adam and Eve removed their heads. Cain removed his heads. Gehazia removed the heads. King Saul removed the heads. Adab and Nabahu removed the heads because they refused to have their mouth full of praises. They refused to declare the splendor throughout the whole day. In the name of Jesus, God, we love you. Let everybody that's under the sound of my voice today, 
let them understand that the purpose for breath is to bless you at all times and to keep your praises in their mouth. Not a beer can, not a liquor bottle, not a cigarette, not a marijuana stick, not a cocaine stick, not a CBD stick, not a vapor stick. In the name of Jesus, not profanity, hallelujah, not earrings, hallelujah, In the name of Jesus. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord, hallelujah, not talking other people up higher than they should be because the other people they talking up better be glad that you allowed that other person to have breath in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we love you today. Let nobody here in today's message ever forget that every day that they have a conscience and are still walking on planet earth that the purpose for them walking is to praise you. God, we love you. Thank you for today's message. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you Tuesday night with Pastor King. Then I'll be back before you again Thursday with part two of let everything that have breath praise the Lord. God bless you. I love you. Amen and amen.